Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are all doing good and I want to say welcome to everybody. Well, it is a gorgeous day today and I thought I would come outside and do my video since the sun's shining and it is a little warmer with the wind blowing and though it, it feels a little chilly so but I think it's like in the 60s so I thought it'd be a nice day just to come out I see a bird coming down the tree <laughs> and uh, do my video so but anyway I'm super excited to uh, share with you guys what I got now it for those of today is um, Thursday and it's January the 13th and I can't believe how it's already almost halfway through the month already going so fast but today is throwback thursday and for those of you that are new that don't know what that is i go and i look for a pattern of some sort from back in the day from like the 50s on up and uh, i try to see you know if i can find one that I, i'm interested in making and if i have a struggle with it i will just kind of go because a lot of those patterns from back in the day I have a hard time understanding them and so what i'll do is i'll try and go and find a pattern that will be as close as it can be to that pattern that i can do and so and i've done that several times <laughs> and anyway i mentioned last week and i showed that i wanted to make a pound puppy they, they came out back in like 1984 the year after i graduated and uh they just brought back memories for me and i can remember people would put you know put them in the back window of their cars and i just thought they were the cutest things and my uh, kiddo had one when she was little and so i wanted to make one and so olive from stringy ding ding she has a uh, pattern and it looks just like the pound puppy and so as soon as i seen it it had been a while i thought well that's definitely one i'm going to use for one of my throwbacks and so i ended up making it and i think he turned out so cute now i do have several more that i'm working on and that's all I've been working on here in this last week, pretty much every day, whenever I'm not having to do, you know, other things and stuff around the house or go somewhere and stuff. So I've been uh, pretty busy. <laughs> and I'll show them later on after I get them all uh, finished. But I'm going to show you the one that I got done for today. And here he is. <laughs> I just think he is so cute. Now, I did make a mistake on him. I ended up sawing his legs crooked and I put them in the wrong direction. <laughs> Whenever I, I was tired when I was working on him is why I ended up doing that. And I should have waited till I wasn't so tired the next day. But um, I ended up putting his legs, I'll show you, facing out that way. And I should have had them going like that. <laughs> but that's okay. And then they're a little crooked. I don't know if you can tell. They're not really in line, but you know what? It's okay because he's going to be loved, <laughs> and he is loved. But I think he's the cutest thing, and I had a lot of fun making this. Now, I think I said this was uh, butterscotch from that Just Premiere, but it's not because after I got done um, doing that video, I was holding that other one up next to it, and it is totally a different color. The other one is butterscotch, but this one, I don't have a clue because I used it on something else, and I actually played yarn chicken with this one because I have made another one out of one of those skeins and I had a little bit left over from one of those little skeins and I think there's like 131 yards in, in one that where you can do the whole body. But anyway, uh, I don't know what this colorway is, but this is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in brown. And then this is either Mainstay or that Just Premier in white. And then this is royal blue in that just premiere and that's from the dollar tree and this is a scrap ball of uh, mainstay and i think it's gold and i used a 3.2 millimeter hook but i just think he turned out so sweet <laughs> and he's just so cute and i think he does look like the pound puppies <laughs> but anyway it is free on her blog if you would like to make you one too and uh, yeah and i'll put a link down below where you can go check it out so like i said i've got several more of these i've been working on so i'll show them to you at a later time now my next throwback thursday i've been really thinking about what i want to make and i'm i'm still kind of tossed up but i think i pretty much know what i'm going to do back in the day and i'm sure some of you will remember these whenever i was young i was born in the 60s and um, I remember growing up when I'd go to my grandmother's on the back of her toilet was always a uh, 
toilet paper cover on her roll of toilet paper and it was a poodle <laughs> and i just thought that was the coolest thing <laughs> and my aunt had made that she made all of her crochet stuff and uh, she was the only one if i remember right that really crocheted in the family my mother did a little bit but my aunt was the one that crocheted every day all the time and anyway she made her a poodle toilet paper cover well, she also made her something else that I thought was the coolest thing, too. And that's kind of what I'm wanting to make. It was a hairspray cover, and it was a poodle. Now, they also made uh, wine bottle covers, too, that you can put a bottle down in there. But she had one with hairspray in it. And that's what I want to make because, I mean, I don't use hairspray. <laughs> I always throw my hair in a ponytail all the time but anyway um, I wanted to make one to put this stuff in it called uh, I do quilting and uh, I use this stuff called basting and what it's for is you spray it on something whenever you're wanting to do like an applique on a quilt and, and it's like an adhesive is what it is and so I need a cover for it and so I thought about that poodle and I think that's what I'm gonna make now I've, I've looked online at patterns and stuff and I couldn't find one for the hairspray cover now they've got them for like the bottles and the toilet paper cover but i'm thinking in my mind i think i can maybe just uh, whip one up myself that's what i'm thinking i'm going to try i'm going to try to design my own <laughs> so we'll see but i think it's going to be so cute and i just got to figure out what color i want to use i'm i'm debating if i want to do it in pink or or yellow i'm not really quite sure yet but anyway, it's going to be a surprise. So that's what I'm planning on making is a uh, spray bottle, uh, yeah, poodle cover, <laughs> crochet poodle cover. So I think that'll be the coolest thing. <laughs> but anyway, I'm super excited about it. So that's what my throwback Thursday is going to be for the next time is me sharing, you know, doing that for you. So anyway, yeah, today has been a really good day. I've had a, I've been... I've been trying to do a little bit of crochet, but I'm really super excited because I got my internet, guys. I am so pumped on it. I've actually did a little test a while ago on it. I, I uploaded a video. For those of you that are new, my internet is horrible here. Not anymore. <laughs> my internet before, I would have to go all the way into town to upload a video and then come back home. At a lot, you know, after a while, it kind of gets... Uh, you know, you get, you get tired and there's days you can't do it and you got to make a run to town and stuff like that to do it. And, you know, I, I do like making my videos and I like being able to put them, up, put them up. And so, you know, especially on the days that I make them. So now that when I do vlogmas and everything, I'm super excited. I'll be able to uh, put them up there every day now. So I'm, I'm happy about it. And so I did a little test earlier and I took one of my uh, previous videos that I've made and it was still on my phone and I thought, well, I'll just load it up see how fast it is and i'll you know won't let it go public because it's already up there and it took it less than five minutes <laughs> and it was like a 16 minute video and so i'm super excited about that it you know i couldn't believe it how fast it was so i'm excited <laughs> i know that might seem silly to a lot of you but when you have to go to town every day to upload a video and everything you know you, you get tired <laughs> And plus it puts a lot of miles on your car when you do it every day if you're not going to town anyway. A lot of times whenever I knew I was going to Walmart, I would just go in there and, and upload it and stuff like that because you get free Wi-Fi in there. But I'm excited about it, so today's an exciting day for me for internet. <laughs> so anyway, that means I'll be putting up here, hopefully, if you know, be putting up more videos, you know try i like to put some up every day but i don't know if i'll be able to every day but it'll be more often than what i have been doing but anyway i guess i'm going to hop off here i got to go help hubby we got to go clean our gutters out we haven't done it yet we've been talking about it and every day every day that it's a new day a uh, new day every day that it's a warm day the wasp come out and the last time i was up there on my roof um uh, all of a sudden, when I was leaning over to get the stuff out of the gutters, the wasp decided to come out of them. And so, you know, I can't, I can't handle that. So I took off. <laughs> I took off running over to the other side of the roof. And, of course, I couldn't go nowhere. <laughs> I had to stop. So I was kind of doing circles on the roof. And so eventually it went away and it left me alone. So I'm going to get up there now while it's still a little chilly. 
and get them cleaned up because we actually are supposed to get some snow and rain and stuff like that I believe Sunday so we'll see I don't mind a little bit of snow but as long as it's gone the next day <laughs> but anyway I guess I'm gonna hop off here I've been rattling quite a bit and I'm gonna go help him and I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna upload my video now it'll be up there in less than five minutes <laughs> and I'll put a link down below where you can go check out Olive's pattern. She's got the cutest patterns. I love her pattern. She's got a lot more. She's got another one up there that I'm gonna. I'm thinking about doing for a throwback uh, Thursday too. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'm gonna hop off here, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day. And I will be chatting at you guys real soon. <laughs>